What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Super Mario, bringing you another My NBA 2K15 episode. And in this episode, well, last time you guys saw that we were in our playoffs, or our, yeah, our playoffs for our season. So, well, we didn't win this, we didn't win. And I actually had this recorded, but it didn't record, so that kind of sucked. But we did make it to the semifinals. And making it to the semifinals gave us, uh, who did it give us? It gave us, it gave us an epic and an ultra rare. So it's the same as if we won our pre our ultra rare season, I guess. Unfortunately, no duplicates, so that kind of sucked. And more unfortunately, another small forward. Did I pass him? I think I might have passed him. I was not paying much attention, fellers. Oh, right, here it is. You see, nah, three enhancement levels though, but another super, another small forward I should say. So that's unfortunate. Hopefully, as you can see, our rivals clash. We're not doing that good either. So we're gonna we're gonna play a few more games with that. And as you'll see in a few seconds, my phone battery is about to die. Making this video kind of in a hurry. I still need to charge my phone for the rest of the day. So we're, this is probably gonna be a short episode. Uh, there were a lot of things that I wanted to cover. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to all of them. And hopefully I remember most of it. So like I was saying, our last season our last season proved that we're that we're capable of winning. Uh we if if we made it to the finals and got cuz we weren't going to win. The guy that won definitely deserved it. He by far destroyed the whole competition. However, had I make it to the to the finals with him and lost, we would have gotten two epics. So that's pretty good. I think we lost. Uh, and the person that we played in the semifinals, I was up three to two, and then he 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 won the rest of the games. And I mean, he just flat out deserved it. You know, he had the in those scenarios, he had the better cards. Uh, we both had our cards fully energized. We both used all of our our boosts. So. He flat out beat me, no excuses. His name was Josh, so shout out to him if he watches my videos. And he definitely he definitely put in work, definitely deserved it. So hopefully he got two good epics that he probably maybe he needed, maybe he didn't, but hopefully he he got some good cards. And I think we're gonna once this Rivals Clash is over, because we're gonna start focusing on Rivals Clash. Now today is Friday. So I will be playing a lot of Rivals Clash tomorrow because I don't I don't really have much to do tomorrow. So by tomorrow we should be in our our duplicate epic tier, and that's that's what we want, quite frankly, because we're not gonna have time this whole week. We didn't have time. We we're taking a lot of tests, so we were studying a couple of times. So we're gonna try and we're gonna try and get the duplicate epics at the shooting guard position. So that's definitely gonna replace Michael Jordan. That's gonna help us in our season. That's gonna help us win them ultra them ultra them epics. And them legendaries in our season, so that's gonna definitely come in handy. And we should be able to start doing good. It shouldn't be too hard to get there, uh, due to the fact that it just shouldn't be too hard. It's just two epics. I, I think I can manage to do that. If I were, if I've been able to get legends for the past two or three rivals clash, I'm pretty confident I can get two duplicate epics. Assuming everything goes perfectly, or not perfectly, but assuming I have the time to play, which hopefully I will. You know, it's always and if oh here's our other ultra rare that we got. Nicholas Batum. Not a duplicate. We're probably gonna I don't know if we're gonna use him to train, because quite frankly we have a lot of ultra rares to train right now. So we're either gonna use him to train or we might even sell some of these cards once the auction house comes out. So hopefully soon. And hopefully some people will buy them, you know. Hopefully we can get some good cards, buy some packs. I'm kinda leaning more towards the continue saving my coins and buying some some record setter packs because I I like the way the record setter cards look. And speaking of cards, the all star cards look really good. So shout out to shout out to the developers. You know the cards look really nice. They look pretty clean. So good job by them, I guess. All right, how much is he gonna go up seven? And this should give us enough to train. And I think we're just gonna play until we clear our board. Like I mentioned, I still need to charge my phone. Hopefully I can charge it. It lasts long enough, so hopefully I can 
continue playing when I have little breaks in between classes. We always just have to see. Look at these cards, man. They 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 pretty much they have over eight hundred stats. As you can see, the only eight hundred stat that I have over is in offense with my boy the pimp himself, Scotty Pippen. So those pro epics are definitely coming candy. And hopefully we can start putting in some work with them. And I'm pretty confident that as soon as I get one, we might not necessarily win the finals. But I'm confident that we're going to make it to the finals every time. Giving us opportunity. Assuming we assuming we keep up with our season, that is. Giving us opportunities to get them either double epics by not winning the finals or a legendary and an epic. So if we can start pulling legendary cards already, that's definitely going to come in handy. Uh, I feel that I've been moving up a little too fast. Uh, for example, moving up tiers before I even have duplicates. So I'm, I'm already going to start getting a lot of legendaries. And I'm not even going to have enough epics to support that. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But hopefully everything works out fine. I mean, the sooner I can get legendaries, the better. The closer we get to Kobe. And we still haven't pulled epic Kobe. You know, I know I want an, a, a duplicate. But I'd be, I'd be more than happy to get an epic Kobe, you know. Uh, I also feel like we're getting close to resetting our board, so that should be good. That should be an epic in the upcoming episodes. So hopefully we can get that. My boy Trinidad Daniel should put Trinidad James gold all in his chains. Don't believe him, just watch. Mm hmm. We about that hip life. Alright, so let's see if we got anything. How many cards do we need to clear the board? Yeah, a couple, a couple, not that many, not that many. TJ Warren, and as you guys need to know, I like to clear out the board before I call it an episode, just in case I get anything good. You know, I have definitely have not had that much of luck pulling, or getting good pulls while recording, so hopefully we can get that. Look at that card, that Clay Thompson do. What's his offense, 872? Not bad, not bad at all, fella. Really good, really good. Athleticism, my boy R. Kelly. We're just going to sacrifice my boy R. Kelly. You know, that's what we do. Offense, we're pretty good at offense. Hopefully, we get a good stat. Hopefully, we can end it in offense. All right, let's see. Did we win? I believe we won. Maybe, it, yep, it was a close game, though. It was a close game. That's the good thing about that Michael Jordan, you know. He has well all-around stats and, like, pretty much most of his stats, I guess. So, even if we're not, if we're stuck, and that's what... If, even if we're stuck playing with a bad card, Michael Jordan can pull through. And we are going to end this episode with Jared Bailey's or Bales, whatever his name is. And if you guys enjoyed the episode, like always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Bye.